What's going on guys? Me, Davey here, back for another shave. And today, we represent all the homies in here today, man. Um, I got little bits and pieces from kind of everybody. First off, gotta represent Canadian Mafia, the homie Jared over there at Thirsty Badger, and all of the cool ass Canadians, Magic Mike, Phil, B. Lou, Randy, all of them, J-Mac, all of just, you know, I love, I love me some Canadians. I love me some Canadians, so I, you know, I had to represent the Canadian Mafia shirt. Shout out to all my Canadian brethren. And so, the, the main star of uh, the show today, this was actually good, the, the co-star, the co-star, because come on, this guy right here, that looks like Magic Mike. I, I think it's Magic Mike. I think he actually modeled for it. That's just my opinion. Take that for what it's worth. But... The star of the show today is going to be this baby right here, Mimosa and Melian, and Melian, Mimosa and Melon, stink like a stallion, that's right, that's my boy right there, Anthony Esposito, and the reason why I really wanted to use this soap today, because I got two soaps in from Ariana Nevins, both the Vanille Vendetta, uh, I think it was, and this one, because I'm testing out two edges today, one edge from my boy Nate, you guys know him from BBS Live, and also for the homie Jeff. Jeff bought a uh, Dovo Bismarck off of me. I honed these babies up. And, you know, we're going to take them for a test drive. So, got those homies right there. So, there we go. I mean, there's love for everybody today. Love for the whole world. And so, we're going to get right into it. I do have my puck blooming. I'm going to go ahead and give my Wolf Whiskers brush a couple shakes. And we're going to load this bitch. So the primary, primary, the primary scent on this is going to be that honeydew melon. Very, very nice. I do like the smell of honeydew melon. This is not a scent that I would want to wear. I'm not somebody that can wear sweet stuff, and this is sweet. This would make an excellent candle. It would make an excellent air fresher. Not something that I would want to smell, but it is quite delightful. Again, air freshener. In the car, or even here in the restroom. Nice candle to make the house smell all pretty. You know, that, I think it would be perfect. I actually, I know Pete is making candles. I hope this scent becomes a candle. I think that would be amazing. But it is exactly what I what I expected. So, off the puck, boom, that honeydew melon really kicks up. Well, that's the first thing that you notice. It's just honeydew melon, honeydew melon, honeydew melon. Right now that I just loaded up the brush, you get a little hint of a floral note. If you're scared of florals, don't be scared of florals because it is not old lady going to church on Sunday floral. You get a little bit of hint of that of that flower note, but it's definitely kind of on the back end. You know, it's it's not something that is the predominant scent. Honeydew melon is going to be that main thing. So I'm going to go ahead get into a face lather. Put a little something right here. So, I did load a little too heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and dunk the brush. Get this properly hydrated. This is in that Kaizen 2 base. Which, just like the Kaizen 1, and even the goat's milk formula before that, I do believe this still has goat's milk. I don't want really to look at the, the damn ingredients too much. But just like the goat's milk that started off, it's all good shit. Yeah, as I lather up, you, I, do, I personally do pick up the floral more. I was talking to Chris Bailey. He was saying that he doesn't pick up any floral. I do. I do pick it up. Again, not offensive. That honeydew melon definitely is kind of the champion of this scent here. That's what you're going to notice the, the most. Very nice. I think it actually push a little bit more water into this. Why not? I'm not typically one of those eight minute low, uh, latherers, but I did load heavy, and this has room to get better and better. Something's bugging me right here, and it was right when the right when the brush 
touch my face. I think I might have a pimple growing in right there because it is dark above me. Luckily, something that I am I do get concerned with, uh, with uh, some of Peter's fruit scents, uh, they do have uh, some of those have a history of getting a little bit of a frag burn. I'm not a sensitive person in terms of my skin type, uh, so I usually don't have that issue. But it is a little bit of a concern that people do uh, bring up. Again, never happens to me, but I'm not saying that it never will. So first, we're gonna go ahead and try out Nate's Ace of Spades. Uh, Nate, I did tighten up these scales before. Knows that about this level, it would fall and then maybe stop about there. Now it actually holds up. So I tighten those scales for you, bro. You go first pass, ace of spades. Money. You look at this ace of spades and it gets an edge on it. Pretty damn impressive. A lot of my buddies in the wet shaving community, they like that gourmand or those sweet scents. Not my style, but if a soap represents one of my, my homies, it, I'm going to get it. It's just done deal. I have to have it in the day. Uh -huh. Now I'm blooping all over the place. I even got all, all on my hand. Babe, where'd you go? I don't have the TV no more. Where'd you go? I don't hear the TV. Oh, I'm doing something and I'm watching something with a lot of subtitles where I can't focus. Ah, yeah, you got to be able to read that stuff. Exactly, so I don't understand Hebrew, so I have to read the subtitles. <laughs> I read the subtitles and I'm kind of busy doing something right now. Do you know my name is, uh, is Hebrew in origin and it means beloved? I would have never guessed it. Yep. Never yeah, that's true. David is a Hebrew name. And it means beloved. David? Yep. Well, I don't think it's the same thing when you say it with the with the Spanish accent there. As a mom, as a mom called you, David? I used to work with this guy named Juan at McDonald's back in high school. Older gentleman, manager. And he used to try to say David. Not David. But he tried to say David. But he'd say it fast. And it sounded like, Dibi, Dibi. <laughs> So the girls that I worked with used to make fun of me because it sounded like he was calling me baby. So it, it was a little bit awkward. Was it? Kind of cool. Well, dude, I didn't mind so much, but the girls would laugh at me in front of them and I felt kind of bad about it. Well, I don't mind people laughing at me so much. It's just, you know, Poor Juan and his thick ass accent. Oh, poor and now we got the Dovo Bismarck for Hefe. Hey, did he dial it? No, that was Jesse. Oh, sorry. The other Mexican manager. And same thing with this one. Bloop. That bloop was for you, Stallion. So. I definitely packed in the, the, the water in this one, so. I am making a little bit of a mess. And before anybody asks, I know there's going to be that jackass in the comments who's saying, are you sure he really wasn't calling you baby? Yes, I'm sure he wasn't calling me baby. Oh. Yeah, I'm making a mess with this leather today. Super slick. But you guys already know. There's, there's no secret. this off yeah. Yeah. all 
I hear something bothering me. Hmm, I don't know what it is. So, there we go. Off to the second pass. Still plenty of water in the brush, but I'm going to push a little bit more. This is a very thirsty soap. Which is cool, because thirsty soaps allows you to kind of customize it. If you are somebody that likes that thicker paste to your lather, you can do that. Because you don't want it to look like toothpaste, but it can be a bit thicker. And contrary to popular belief, you can successfully shave with the lather that's a bit on the thicker side. I don't go for thin, I don't go for thick. I go for nice, creamy, and hydrated. Something in the middle. So. What? I gotta get the Dovo. No, wait a minute. I'm doing this side. Yep, I do need. I'm losing track of which one I'm using on which side. The Ace of Spades is gonna be exclusively on my right side of my face. Oh, excuse me. Just so I could gauge the performance of both by the end product. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this thing sharp. I have had some people tell me that they feel no difference between the, the in edges. They don't feel no difference or at least no beneficial difference from a Nanny Watt 12K to the Sugiro 20. I have to disagree. Of course, everybody's results are going to be different, but man, the results I get from that 20K are ridiculous, dude. This right here, this edge is probably the sharpest edge I've had up to this point because it feels sharp. Like uh, in our conversations, uh, Magic Mike likes to refer to them as lightsaber. This, this classifies, man. It is killer sharp, but it's not uncomfortable whatsoever. You do feel that kind of grabby kind of feeling because it's so damn sharp, but there's no roughness. Now, if I'm a goofy ass with this, and you get a little too rough, then yeah, of course. I could cause some issues because it is a really sharp blade, but. As long as I respect the razor, stick to my good technique, it won't be a problem. At all. You love it. It's interesting. Usually, when I do the left side of my face, I start from the middle and work one way out. But when I do my right side, I work from the out coming in. This time, I'm trying to do the same way. No particular reason why. Not like it's going to change the end result. But I just like, I noticed that probably about two shaves ago. Two, three shaves ago. But I'm like, yeah, I do. Like, I come here. And then when I switch hands, I, wor I still work along this line as opposed to doing the same starting point as the other side. It's just... I don't know why that is, but you know, I, I noticed. Also, additionally, when I do on the cheeks, when I do my right side, I start kind of in the middle and then do the, the opposite sides of the, you know, each side. But when I do my left side, I start at the goatee. And that, for whatever reason, just feels more comfortable for me in terms of my pattern. I, I don't know. I never really put much thought into it until recently. I just kind of let things usually kind of just go and flow. I 
and let the chips fall where they may. But I do notice now. Well, again, recently I noticed. Add a little moisture there. I think I want to get one of those brush uh, scuttles. Because I prefer the warm lather. And already by this time, my lather is getting, it's not cold, but it's definitely cool to, to the feel. So I think I want to try one of those brush scuttles. I hope Douglas still has them. I got to check it out. Or maybe I could have Jared and his wife make me one. Get one of them Canadian specials. I don't think they've ever done one. I think they usually do shave bowls. But they may be able to do a brush scuttle. That's possible. Get some of those uh, Canadian imported goods. Canada can give us more than just Wolverine. And now my favorite pass, the against the grain pass. Nate's been calling it Daddy's Pass. I like it. Dude, this, this phrase is ridiculous. These are just really, really fun to own, man. The end result is just so damn satisfying. And not every edge is this good. Like, I've been doing some good edges. One thing I've been really proud of is my consistency. If anything, my edges have gone gradually slightly better. Still, even to this point, um, they never really take a step back. So I'm at bare minimum, I'm very consistent. But this fucking razor right here makes it makes me feel uh, makes me look like the best fucking owner in the goddamn world. And then this, this Bismarck has been great. Taking care of the hair, man. Very nice. Had extra days growth in here, actually. No, I've actually been, when was the last time I shaved? Oh man, I think it's been a minute. I can't even remember when was the last time I shaved, but either way. Had a good amount of growth for myself. Very nice. I try to like not make a habit of talking when I'm shaving my neck anymore. It just seems rather... Uh, dangerous for no good reason not that i like kill myself with it but um the neck is just somewhere i really don't want to cut myself i just rather not go through that just over stupidity frankly jesus see more bloops everywhere there we go so that right there is the end of the third pass. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, rinse off, and we'll get into the final thoughts of everything we use today. All right, I am back. I'm gonna go ahead and use Future Fictions. Future Fictions is a slightly, has a little bit of sweetness to it. And it's just one of my favorite PAA scents. Not to mention it has some green in the bottle, so it'll match with the Stallion label. Yeah, I did not get the aftershave again. This is not a scent that I'll typically want to walk around smelling like. It's just it's a little weird for me. So, we'll go. Stink like a stallion. Melon and mimosa. Or mimosa and melon. Whatever. Um, 
Great soap, Kaizen 2, excellent performing soap, gives you all the slickness, handles all the water that you want. Great on the face, man. It's just an, it's just an enjoyable um, product to use. It's just really that simple. Um, if you like honeydew melon, this will kick you in the face with honeydew melon. Uh, there's no mistake in what it is. When you lather it up, I do get some of the florals. Chris doesn't, so... You may or may not get some of the florals, but either way, it is not an offensive floral. I definitely, I dislike most florals with the exception of lavender and some rose. Um, some, very picky with the rose stuff. But um, other than that, I really don't like venturing too much into florals, but the melon is the prominent scent in this one. So if you like the honeydew melon, I definitely say jump on it. The Ace of Spades. Hey. You're gonna love this damn edge, bro. If that if that ain't one of the best edges you've ever tried, I don't know. Because this one was damn impressive. And I know a lot of the edges you have tried. And again, it's not all me. This this these blades, the geometry on them, the way they sit on the stones has a lot to do with it. These are fantastic. And I'm really excited for you to try this because I really feel you're gonna love this edge, bro. It is really nice. And Jeff. The razor is coming home to you. Those ace of spades just kind of blow my mind in the way they take an edge. Uh, but this is no slouch. Great, great results. Right here, a little bit of roughness on this side. Here, a little bit of roughness on this side, which is standard. But all in all fantastic shave what a fun shave dude again there's always those certain shaves that kind of stick out in your mind this was fun dude I, I used two razors that i really really enjoy to use both of them with my edges got a soap repping the stallion it's it's just it's good times all the way around good times all the way around canadian mafia they got the little honorary patch right there if you can see that let's see god damn it honorary member of the canadian mafia good looking out great shirt jared and so this is a little bit of a long uh, ep episode today or video, whatever. If you made it up to this point in the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you guys for taking this ride with me. Uh, wet shaving has been fantastic and it wouldn't be the same without every one of you guys. Thank you for everybody that drops comments below, shoots me a DM, everything. Dude, I just, I love y'all, man. So thank you guys so much. And with that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.